I put more thought into what we're doing up here than anything else in my life. And it's finally starting to take shape. Every time I hear somebody say you're crazy, it just lets me know I'm on the right track. I weigh 203 pounds right now. I haven't weighed 203 pounds since I was in my 20s. But I feel physically better than I've felt in years. I wake up in the morning and I try and get up here just as the sun comes over the hill. And I typically work till dark. I've never had more purpose in my life than I have right now. I lay in bed thinking about where we're at with things. I can't wait to get back up here and get to work and get the next project finished. I've been doing this six days a week for quite some time now. I love having a reason to get out of bed every morning. I probably should have a little bit more balance probably shouldn't spend six days a week up here until the house is weatherproof this is what I have to do I'm not gonna ask anybody else to do this for me I'm not gonna ask anybody else to fulfill my dreams if I couldn't do this on my own I never should have started it it's not pride it's not ego it's the idea that I have things in my head a certain way and most of the time I can't explain to people how I want things done and most of the time, people aren't going to do things the way that I would want them done. I've just about got the roof rafters all finished. I spent a half a day yesterday working on the eaves, trying to get the eaves just right. There's no reason why I can't build this thing to be aesthetically pleasing and structurally sound at the same time. Again, we're up against it with the weather, but we'll work through it. It's going to be hard. It should be hard. Anything worth doing is going to be hard. The most valuable things that I've ever done in my life were hard. I don't have a problem with hard. I've got all the bird block done on the one side. I, I got to cut one final piece for the end. It was a different measurement. Uh, it turned out really good. Went really fast once I started doing it. I've got all the collar ties in place. 
uh, between the uh, bird block and the collar ties, I used up all of the scrap uh, leftovers that I had from the rafters. Uh, I was using 16 foot rafters, cutting about uh, 30 inches off them, so it worked out perfectly um, with that scrap to fill in. Um, I got this uh, other Eve finished. This thing was scary. Um, I hate hanging off um, the top to do it, but I got it done. So that's ready now for uh, uh, for OSB. Actually, I'll end up using probably a marine grade uh, plywood on that 16 inches that's going to be exposed. Um, it's going good. This uh, monotonous, uh, tedious stuff is almost done. The last thing that I have to do is to get the um, rafter ties in place. I got to run down and pick up the 14 foot rafter ties. Then I can knock this uh, this support brace out of the way, and it's ready for uh, a roof. It's ready for OSB. The weather looks beautiful next week. Thank heavens. And uh, so I'll grind that out. Uh, I'll spend the rest of tonight putting in the bird block. So all I really have to do is finish the bird blocking. Finish the rafter ties. So the rafter ties will be about three feet lower than the collar ties, all the way down. And uh, and then I'll uh, uh, we'll still have a nine foot ceiling upstairs, which is nice, nice enough. And uh, and then we're ready for uh, the OS OSB on the roof. Um, I should. The rafter ties aren't going to take very long. It's going to take me longer to drive down and get them than it's going to take me to do the job. But I'll run down first thing Monday morning and pick those up. Uh, and then it's getting the roof finished. The weather looks beautiful. Uh, next week looks awesome. I think it was supposed to be 56 on Tuesday. So uh, thank goodness the, the weather's holding off. So I'm going to keep grinding and get it done. Um, I think I, what I've concluded to do is, uh, because by code I have to have the, the uh, rafter ties and I have to have that void uh, up in the attic, I think I might make a little loft on the far end for the kids and maybe make a storage area uh, for my wife and her 14 boxes of Christmas decorations on this end. So uh, one of my wife's concerns is naturally to have as much storage as we possibly can. And so I think I will do my best to give her that and utilize uh, the space that we have. So first thing Monday morning, I should be able to dive right into uh, getting uh, preparations made for the roof.